Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to try to look straight at you. This is uh, different than my camera uh, that is uh, uploading a dance right now. I wanted to share something that I am burdened about. You know, we who have laid down our lives, laid down lovers of Yeshua best we can to serve him. We live for him. We want to be busy about his business, but many of us are not on a healing path. We're hiding behind God instead of in God. What do I mean by that? We're happy enough to just be with him forever in heaven. But the thing is, is that we're not emotionally available for God if we're not on a healing path. Emotionally available to ourselves, no. And emotionally available to others, no. So if we don't get the healing, if we don't run after our healing with God, he does the healing, but we say yes, when we get healed, we can be so much more effective in advancing the kingdom of God. And God cares about our hearts before any ministry we could ever do. In fact, our ministry is to him first. It's to him, to love him, to adore him, to worship him. It's not to be running up and down, getting all burnt out and have no emotional healing. I'm I'm so burdened about this. That's why I speak about it quite often. Because that's not his desire for us to get. What good are we to anyone if we're burnt out? That's not his desire for us. He chooses to live in our heart. That's how precious our hearts are. So let's get on the healing train today. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. So when we say yes to Yeshua, our soul is saved. But our broken and devastated hearts need repairing. They need the healing of Elohim. And we have to want that. And if we don't know if we want it, Lord, help me to want it. Make me willing, Lord. God wants us to be available emotionally. So our compassion is genuine. It's authentic. It's real. We can be there for him ourselves and those that he brings into our path. Food for thought. God bless you. From Call to Transparency, Jerusalem.